Hi, my name is Roxy Davis. I'm a surfer, ocean lover, and I'm passionate about surf therapy. I've just completed my PhD in disability studies, and the topic was ocean-based therapy for children with disabilities in the Western Cape. We started a surf school 20 years ago, right here at Musenberg Beach, and we were teaching surfing for all individuals coming from all across the world and South Africa. And a friend of mine said to me, why don't we include surf therapy? So surfing for individuals with physical, intellectual, sensory and cognitive disabilities. And it never really crossed our mind as to why we hadn't done it. And in 2016, we started that surf therapy on Musenberg Beach. And by 2019, we had formalized surfing and surf therapy in South Africa. Surf therapy essentially is using uh, an environment such as being in nature, being in the ocean, introducing therapy and surfing, where it incorporates uh, physical activity, mental health, physical health, community involvement, and just a passion for being outdoors. I started surfing when I was 12 years old, and surfing has really been um, my medicine. It's saved my life. It's a place where I feel safe, I feel comfortable, and it's just a, a quiet, calm space for me. Essentially, it started as a research uh, master's that was looking at the experiences of participation of uh, surf therapy for children in the Western Cape. And then it evolved into interviewing the parents, their guardians, the professionals that were involved in the day-to-day -day lives of the children as well as the volunteers who actually deliver the surf therapy. So it's the experiences at um, multiple touch points with multiple individuals. We actually interviewed them before they started for the six weeks where they did the surf therapy. We interviewed them again after the surf therapy program and then a year later. So there were multiple touch points in the follow-up. And what we had realized is that the experience goes beyond just surfing. So surfing is essentially the sport for development. Surfing is that tool that, or the hook that brings them together and beyond that there's a ripple that, of change that happens. So we have found, for example, on Musenberg Beach, right here, there is a new development that's going up and our, our research actually informed the guide of how to include universal access on this new beachfront development. The kids themselves showed up. They wanted to be part of the journey and part of change and part of discovering something new in South Africa. And just knowing that we were contributing to something bigger, being part of a global community that could support research coming out of South Africa, that was something that was just kept in the forefront of my mind day after day, night after night. I believe that the research has holistic value experiencing the conversations with the children and the participants, what we found was with the kids they were able to learn and grow through the surfing and really things like, if I can do this, what else can I do? The surfing has taught me like never to limit yourself, anything's possible if you can put your mind to it. Like with my disability a year ago, I didn't think standing on my own was possible. Now I'm getting in and out of the car, I'm doing things myself, I'm dressing myself, I'm feeding myself. When I'm in the water, it's like, it's weird. It's almost like I'm excited and calm at the same time. I'm like happy, I'm, I'm energetic, but I'm also I'm at ease, you know? Like all my worries just disappear. It's like, it's like a magic trick. Roxanne Jade Davis. Graduation, pinch me. <laughs> I'm excited that this day has come and I think it's a we thing, it's not a me thing. It's a community, it's all the volunteers, all the surfers. So for us, we are really excited that the research has informed actual tangible change for South Africans. I feel like all of us have graduated. <laughs>